One of the messages that I got quite strongly from your presentation about say CRM was that it has to be sold more intelligently. It needs a, a degree of understanding of your customer's business, what their what their pain points are, what their business benefit is going to be. It's not just about selling sales automation anymore. You don't sell CRM necessarily by selling something called CRM. You know, I think people need to actually see the business benefits mm -hmm. that they're actually going to you know, extract from actually implementing the solution. And that's the message we're trying to get across to people. That, you know, it's all about actually solving the real world, burning platform issues that people actually have. And that's the power of what we've got. You know, we have something that adapts to the actual individual business, etc. People don't know, know necessarily that that solution is there, but it's called CRAM. So it's up to us to actually try and actually educate the actual market, but also to actually make sure that we're actually really delivering business benefits. That's that bit, keeping it very business benefit centric is really what we're trying to get across to the actual channel and to our customers as well. We deliver results rather than just solutions. Well, in the background, we're seeing a lot more integration now, aren't we, across yeah. the various products. So we've got the SageX3 ERP, we've got the CRM, the Human Resource Management now, yeah. uh, Business Intelligence, far more capacity, all of it being quite tightly integrated and feeding into each other. Yeah, I, th I think that's a hugely positive development. It's what people have been asking us for for a number of years. So we're trying to actually come together as more an integrated strategy across the actual products. And like the, the value of that is huge. So the value of us being integrated tightly to ERP is so that we get better sales insights. So we have to actually look at the, the sales order history that exists there in ERP. We can infer out of that how frequently people are buying from us. Who hasn't bought from us in the last year? You know, when's the last time somebody was actually contacted? So we unlock within those businesses the ability to cross-sell and upsell and actually to manage their own opportunity in front of them. And we all need tools to actually help us, to actually support us in actually doing that. So the tools and the integration that we're having even with intelligence and stuff like that as well allows us to actually make those assessments for people and actually put them right in front of them and then they can actually choose the action to actually take in other words by generating campaigns, interactions, etc. So really high value. The more we integrate, the higher value we we'll actually deliver to the actual businesses. I heard you mention that you know, if, if you don't sell the CRM to a customer, somebody else might. Mm -hmm. uh, so important to, to strengthen the position there, get it into more customers, get them understanding uh, what the benefits are. As you say, it may not be seen as CRM, but it, it's tackling a, a specific business need. What can the channel do? What can the consultants do uh, to really increase the uptake? So the reason why we're trying to sort of say sell CRM by not selling CRM is a lot of people interpret CRM as being sort of saying that I've got to educate somebody in how to actually sell differently. And that becomes a mental stumbling block right. for people to actually have the conversations. So what we're actually sort of saying is actually it, it's more than that. It's not that we're actually looking for you to dumb it down. We're actually looking for you to as partners, uh, as trusted advisors, you know, and I suppose as Sage, we're the best advisor, you know, best supporter and advisor of small and medium-sized enterprises use those relationships to actually understand the actual challenges people have and I would guarantee that generally we'll actually have a solution where it's customer or process centric. We have a solution that can unlock the benefit for the enjoyment of the customer. That's the conversation we want to actually get people into. So we want to get people educated and then we want to actually get them armed to actually have those conversations and to deliver that result. And that's real high value relationship stuff that we'll actually deliver to our customers. And that's the type of relationship we want to say.